much for being here. As many of you know, Hoboken broke in the first week of March, and we were supposed to have this, this concert in the first week of March, but we all got sent home. So, um, so this was actually the first weekend. Devon is so busy, and the students are so busy. This is actually the first weekend where we could reschedule this recital. Uh, and it's an important one. A lot of our singers are graduating. A lot of the people you're going to see, I think all but two, the two are, are graduating. They're leaving. Breaks my heart, but there it is. They do it all the time, students. They, they leave. Um, so they're, they're about to take off and having this opportunity to, to really get in there and sing some repertoire they've been working very hard on. Um, for their friends and families is a special opportunity. Thank you for making time to, to come and support them. Um, a few of you might be new to Devon, and if you are, please know that the restrooms are out the back and that away, gentlemen, ladies. Uh, in the highly unlikely event of an emergency, please follow the house manager's instructions. Basically, the exits are that way. You don't want to go this way. Um, please, please don't have your phones on. We are recording this. We are, we have a professional photographer who's wonderful. Um, and, and phones do tend to uh, make noise at inopportune times. And even if they aren't doing that, they shine screens and disturb the people around you or sometimes the people on stage. So as a courtesy to performers and your fellow audience, please, please resist that temptation. Um, I would like to start, oh, I didn't introduce myself. Hi, I'm Bethany Reeves, and, <laughs> and um, I'm the voice teacher of the uh, Devon Voice Studio and also the, uh, the choir director. And um, I would like to introduce Stephanie Sofko, who is our pianist this evening. And while this is not traditional, I also want to give a special shout out to Christopher Ocker, who is our page turner this evening. <laughs> um, our first piece, there's a story, and I'm going to try to keep it short. Uh, for the first time in our now 10 year history of doing Shakespeare projects at Devon, uh, we did Romeo and Juliet this year which was a very dear project to me. And actually, both Juliet and Romeo and Tybalt are all singing tonight. Um, we also have a special project on the updated musical version of Romeo and Juliet, which is West Side Story, and that is the second half of our program. We also have, um, very recently, our tenor Corey Batchelder started working on one of the operatic versions of Romeo and Juliet uh, by Gounod from the 1800s, Romeo et Juliette. And there is a particularly gorgeous aria for Romeo called A Levatoi Soleil, which means, oh, arise, fair sun, which is straight out of Shakespeare. Um, this is the balcony scene before Juliet has realized, she's on the balcony thinking, dang it, why did I have to fall in love with a Montague? Um, and it's before she's realized that he's there. And most of what he says is, is Shakespeare translated roughly into French. Oh, she's so beautiful. See how she leans her cheek upon that hand. Oh, golly, I wish I could, I wish I could stroke that cheek. Um, wow, you know, he's, he's just bowled over by her. And, He's just met her. They just fallen in love, so it's all fresh and new. Corey Batchelder singing "A Levatoire Soleil." Oh, yeah. 
servant of Count Almaviva, and Count Almaviva is very annoyed because the page, Carabino, which is a pants role, which means it's for a, it's a male character, but it's sung by a woman because he's very young, he's about 14. Um, Carabino has been once again found flirting with women that he shouldn't be flirting with. He's just hit puberty, he's in love with every, everyone who is female, and he's under everybody's feet and making everybody nuts. Uh, and the Count says, I, you, you, I'm going to make you join the army. I'm sending you off to, to join the bra to, to pick up a gun and, and be a soldier. Carabino should not be a soldier. Uh, Figaro knows this, and Figaro's not going to let that happen. But he, uh, he is not above teasing Carabino mercilessly about the possibility um, you know, he's going to not have his fancy hat and his feathers and his rosy cheeks anymore. He's going to have to march in the mud and the snow and the heat and the run and wear helmets and have, you know, bullets whistling by his ears. Uh, there will be lots and lots of honor, but not much money. Charlie Beale is going to sing Figaro for us, and Kaylee Cubitt is his poor, unfortunate Carabino. <laughs> Fafalone amoroso, notte giorno d'intorno girando, nella bella domanda il riposo, nacci sento a lucino d'amore, nella bella domanda il riposo, nacci sento a lucino d'amore. Non più avrai questi bei pennacchini. Quel capello leggero e galante, quella chioma, quell'aria brillante, quel mio donesco color, quel mio donesco color. Non più avrai quei pennacchini, quel capello, quella chioma, quell'aria brillante. Non più andrai a fafalone amoroso, Notte giorno d'intorno girando, e la bella trovano il riposo, la ci sento a lucino d'amore. E la bella trovano il riposo, la ci sento a lucino d'amore. Fra quei ieri può far pacco, 
Kren bus taki, że to sako Si on pon spala Si abla fianco Kolo dzito Muzo franco Un gran casco Un gran torbante Moto lor Poco cantante Poco cantante Poco cantante Ed invece del fandango Una marcia per il fango Per montagna per vagonia Con le nevi e soleoni Un concerto di ciamboni Di pompare di cannoni Che le palle e tutti i giorni All'orecchio fan fischar Non piovrai Quei pennacchini Non piovrai Quel capello non piovrai, quella chioma non piovrai, quell'aria brillante. Non piangerai baffalone amoroso, notte e giorno d'intorno girando, terra bella e trovando il riposo, nacci setto ad un cino d'amore. Setto a non ci no da mor. Che rubino la vittoria alla gloria militare. Che rubino è la vittoria alla gloria militare. Alla gloria militare. Alla gloria militare. won the Tony Award, I believe, in 2015 for Best Musical. And those of you that know it know that it's, it's kind of on the dark side. Uh, it deals with mental illness and teen suicide. And um, this number is sung by the bereaved family of Connor Murphy, who is a deeply disturbed teenager who does in fact take his own life after some years of really, you know, his, his problems make his life hell for himself and his family. Um, and, and then he is gone and they're all trying to cope with it. Uh, his mother, his father, and his sister who's very close to him in age and possibly had in some ways the most interaction with him. Why should I play this game of pretend? Remembering through a secondhand sorrow, such a great son and wonderful friend. Oh, don't the tears just pour? I could curl up and hide in my room, there in my bed, still sobbing tomorrow. I could give in to all of the Tell me, tell me what for? Why should I have a heavy heart? Why should I start to break in pieces? Why should I go and fall apart for you? Why should I play the grieving girl and Tonight, 
it away Leaving these broken pieces behind you Everything wasted, nothing to say So I can sing no requiem I hear your voice and feel you need In these words I finally find you And now that I know that you are still here I will sing no requiem tonight Why should I have a heavy heart? Why should I say I'll keep you with me? and Julia Weirs Vicky as Zoe. Now we have um, Cameron Clifford, who is going to sing for us a song that started out as a, a movie musical song and then morphed into a Broadway musical song. This is from, uh, this is actually the film version of uh, Santa Fe, a, an aspirational song from Newsies from 1992, the film. Uh, in which Jack, a turn of the last century orphan who has managed to somehow or other survive by selling newspapers, so we're talking around 1900, 1910, um, is, has just for the very first time in his life had a dinner with a, a nuclear family and, and is thinking about that and about his own dreams. Cameron Clifford singing Santa Fe. So that's what they call the family Mother, daughter, father, son Guess that everything you heard about is true So you ain't got any family Well, who said you needed one? Ain't you glad nobody's waking up? When I dream on my own, I'm alone, but I ain't lonely. For a dreamer, night's the only time of day. When the city's finally sleeping, all my thoughts begin to stray. And I'm on 
the train that's bound for Santa Fe. And I'm free like the wind, like I'm gonna live forever. It's a feeling time can never take away. All I need's a few more dollars, then I'm out of here to stay. Dreams come true, yeah they do, in Santa Fe. Say a guy can't catch a break. Why should you only take what you're given? Why should you spend your whole life living trapped where there ain't no future? Even at 17, breaking your back for someone else's sake. If the life don't seem to suit ya, how about a change of scene? Far from the lousy headlines and the deadlines in between. Santa Fe, are you there? Do you swear you won't forget me? If I found you, would you let me come and stay? I ain't getting any younger. But before my dying day, I want space, not just air. Let them laugh in my face, I don't care. Save a place, I'll be there. So that's what they call a family. Ain't you glad you ain't that way? Ain't you glad? You've got a dream called Santa Fe. Uh, our next song is also from Broadway, a relatively recent musical, A Gentleman's Guide to Love and Murder. Um, with a plucky uh, heroine who has a very original way of seeing the world uh, and is going to tell us about how she thinks the world ought to be. The song is called Inside Out, and our singer is Zoe Hack. <laughs>
returning to opera to 1816 to Rossini's sparkling um, setting of a French play uh, called The Barber of Seville. And actually, it has a relationship with The Marriage of Figaro, but I won't get into that because I'll keep you here all night if I start that up. Um, in short, one of the characters in The Marriage of Figaro has an earlier life in The Barber of Seville. Several of them do. This particular character in Seville is uh, Rosina, who at the time of this story is a young woman who has been, she's the legal ward, so currently orphaned, of um, a Dr. Bartolo, who's a tiresome old git who wants to marry her now that she has come of age. And she's not planning on that. Um, she has met a dashing young man who has stolen her heart. Um, she doesn't know it, but he's actually a nobleman, and he really is going to marry her. Um, so thereby hangs a tale. Uh, but at the moment, she, she just knows that he's a dashing young man and that he's, he's nuts about her and she's nuts about him. And so she, she's just heard him singing her song from Beyond Her Garden, a voice just now has made my heart flutter. And she goes on and thinks about, well, you know, it's, it's uh, I, I'm, I'm docile and obedient and, and just the most perfect little lady unless you mess with me. And if you mess with me, you better watch out. Um, so her guardian needs to be watching out. And sure enough, by the end of the opera, everything is happy and she gets the guy she wants. Kaylee Cubitt is going to sing Rosina for us.
for and sadly it, it didn't it didn't actually last very long um, but it's left us with a number of songs that people love to sing uh, Natasha Pierre and the Great Comet of 1812 interestingly based on Tolstoy War and Peace or a very short bit thereof uh, and this this character this big Shana of a, of a song is sung by a man of somewhat advanced years wondering if he has if he has spent his life in in the best possible way nicholas height will sing it for us Life is 
been searching the words of poets and saints and prophets and kings. And now at the end, all I know that I've learned is that all that I know is I don't know a thing. So easy to close off, place the blame outside. Hiding in my room at night, so terrified. All the things I could have been, but I never had the nerve. Life and love, I don't deserve. It's all right, all right, I've had my time. Close my eyes, let the death bells chime. Bury me in burgundy, I just don't care. Nothing's left, I've looked everywhere. Is this how I die? Was there ever any other way my life could be? This is how I die. Such a storm of feelings inside of me. But then why am I screaming? Why am I shaking? Oh God, was there something that I... Did I squander my divinity? Was happiness within me the whole time? They say we are asleep until we fall in love. We are children of dust and ashes. was Romeo. Um, but we also had in the studio uh, two very talented singers who had a dream of doing West Side Story. And while the voice studio can't do a full production of West Side Story, we can do a lot of the music. And so, you know, the season of the Star-Crossed Lovers continues. Uh, we are going to start with Corey Batchelder, who sang Romeo for you at the top of the concert, and now he's going to sing Tony for you, who of course is Romeo. The most beautiful sound I ever heard 
Maria, 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 Maria. All the beautiful sounds of the world in a single word. Maria, 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 Maria. Maria, Maria, Maria. I've just met a girl named Maria. And suddenly that name will never be the same to me. Maria, I've just kissed a girl named Maria. And suddenly I found how wonderful the sound can be. because we're in New York City. <laughs> Bella Cruz is Maria, and Corey Batchelder is Tony.
of the great operatic ensembles of all time, and it's in a musical. It's in this musical. It's the Tonight Quintet, where um, everybody's in, well, with one exception, everybody's in different areas, so they're all on the stage at once, but they're not in the same location, theatrically speaking. So come on out, folks. We're going to have uh, Corey Batchelder as Tony, and he is with his friend Riff, who is the head of the Jets gang that Tony's trying to not be a part of anymore. Come on out, Riff. So Corey Batchelder and Cameron Clifford. We have got Nicholas Height, who is the head of the other game, gang, Bernardo. Come on out, Nicholas Height. Yes, so this one and that one, they do not like each other. <laughs> not at all. And they are looking forward to having a rumble in the evening where supposedly, you know, the, the best man out of each gang is supposed to, you know, fight and whichever of those two wins, it's very medieval really, you know, send your best knight in to fight with the other side's best knight, um, then that, that gang wins. Um, we've also got Anita, who is looking forward to Bernardo coming home hot and tired. Um, and we've got Maria, who is looking forward to seeing Tony. And Tony, who is the fight, fight, fight. He is looking forward to seeing Maria. But the only people who are actually in the same place here are Riff and Tony. Jets are gonna have their day tonight. The sharks are gonna get their way tonight. The Puerto Ricans grumble, fair fight. But if they start a rumble, we'll rumble them right. We're gonna give them a surprise tonight. We're gonna cut them down to size tonight. We said okay to rumpus, no. Tricks, but just in case they jump us, we're ready to mix tonight. We're gonna rock it tonight, we're gonna jazz it up and have us a ball. We're gonna get it tonight, the more they turn it on, the harder they'll fall. Well, they began it, well, they began it, and we're the ones to stop them once and for all tonight.
Okay, so that rumble where just two guys were supposed to fight, it doesn't really go down like that. Um, and later that evening, we join Maria and Anita after Riff is killed by Bernardo. Things just get really out of hand. So this is the Mercutio Tybalt situation. Riff, Mercutio, is killed by Bernardo Tybalt when the fight gets out of hand and then Romeo, Tony, loses it and kills Tybalt Bernardo, who is of course Maria's brother and Anita's essentially fiance. So what we have here is a reworking of the nurse Juliet scene when Juliet has just found out what has happened. Uh, Maria is Isabella Cruz, and Adriana Aguirre is Anita. Thank you. 
be Romeo and Juliet if it had ended happily, though in West Side Story, Maria does live on. Um, we are going to end this recital with the full company singing somewhere. Come on out, folks.